In this video, I'm going to show you how to make sure that MATLAB can see your files. So let's say you have a program to run, and you go into MATLAB, and you press Run, and it comes up with this error. That could be pretty worrying, because you think your code is broken, but sometimes your code will actually be fine. It's just that MATLAB can't see the files that it needs to. So this piece of code is supposed to load an image uh, from my computer into MATLAB, and then display it. The error message says that the file it's looking for doesn't exist. But I know that the file does exist, so why isn't it working? Essentially, MATLAB doesn't look at all the files on my computer. It just looks at ones that I've specified as being relevant to this piece of code. Um, this is called the path. It will only look at things that are in the path. You can tell what's in the path, because in this current folder menu, anything in the path will be in black, and anything not in the path will be in gray. So this folder image isn't in the path. We can add it to the path by right-clicking, going Add to Path. Now we have two choices. We can either add just this folder, or this folder and every folder within it. So if we choose the first option, you see this isn't grayed out anymore. But if we expand it, all of the folders within it are still grayed out. But if we click it, go Add to Path, Add to path, selected folders and subfolders. It'll make these ones not grayed out as well, which also means that the image that this piece of code is looking for is no longer grayed out. So if we run the code again, it works fine. It shows us a picture of a dog. If you want to remove something from the path, uh, for example, if you have two files that have the same name and you only want MATLAB to be able to see one of them, you can right click, go remove from path, and just like before, we've got selected folders, all selected folders and subfolders. Generally, the folder that you're currently in will by default be in the path unless you've told it otherwise. So an easy way to never really have to think about paths is just to make sure that every file that your code needs to run is in the same folder as your code. 